Buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Roroni Kenshin Hokkaido Arc Chapter 2. So last chapter, aka the first chapter of um, this manga, we got a huge twist which was Kaoru's father, a man we thought was dead. In all of Aroni Kenshin, we found out that he's alive. And also, we found out that some at the end of the chapter, that something at Mount um, Hokudade is going down. So let's get to this chapter and see what's happen, um, what's going to happen next. So chapter two of our new ser serialization uh, color cover. The countless uh, heroes that um, color the pages of history. Oh, Sanosuke! Like... I miss him! Sonosuke better come back! Seriously, we need Sonosuke. Um, and the people that, uh, will, um, carve out a new history. Oh, it shows all the students! Um, uh, and this chapter is titled, uh, Mount Hakudade, uh, Hostilities. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see. Ooh, there's lightning going up there! Uh, the rolling waters of the vast deep. Shit, it's gotten real rough. Which way's the harbor? Oi, look, what the hell is that? Woo! The cliffs of Mount Hakudane, someone's... What the fuck is going on? The next day, half disbelieving what they'd heard from um, the fishermen, policemen were sent to investigate the mountain. All three died. Another squad was dispatched, this time to arrest the perpetrator. All ten died. Whoa! Something is going down at Mount um, Hakudate. And I think, if I remember correctly, that's where Kenshin and Kaoru are heading. Oh, shit. This could get dangerous. The demands of these criminals. One, all authorities are to leave uh, Hakudate at once. Two, provision of war uh, capital to the Commence Association. Three, distribution of guns to all civilians. You know what? I'm down with the uh, with um what the third uh, demand. I'm not sure about the first demand, but I'm down with the third demand. I think all the, the citizens having guns, fine. With, I'm, that's fine with me. Um, they're uh, just like those um of uh the brigands of the Bakumatsu. Oh shit! Whoa! The only thing that's different from back then is that now guns are a lot more real. Threatening us with cannon fire, huh? Whoa, that's, whoa, they're, that's what was going on on, the, on page six is that that was a cannon. Holy shit. I guess I, I see, I guess we can't leave this um, stuff up to the police, huh? He's gone. What happened? He's gone. That guy the police sent. Yeah, that swordsman uh, police officer. Hold on a second. Um, here we go. Um, he's, uh, he's gone. What happened? He's gone. That guy the police sent. Yeah, the, so that swordsman police officer. Probably got spooked by the cannon and scampered off. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever. Shouldn't have brought the, uh, his stupid knife to, um, this gunfight. Let him be. Well, I don't know about that. Mount Hakude, uh, uh, sorry, Mount Hakudade Peak. What the, are you the criminal? Throw down your guns and take up a sword. If you do, I will fight you. If you do not, you will all be slaughtered. <gasps> Woo! Oh! Idiot! Oh! Oh! Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I idiot! If idiot! If you quietly sur if you quietly surrender, we'll spare your life. Um. If not, take up your swords. He's wearing something under his clothes. Aim for his head. Oh! He got the boot! Oh my god! I know we've seen it many times, but seeing this man do it is fucking crazy. Seeing a samurai, like seeing a guy in this manga do it is unheard of. We haven't seen anything like that in this series before. Oh shit. What are you gaping at? If you possess the grip of... Uh, Possess the grip strain to overcome its momentum and rotational force, then a bullet can easily 
well, the skin will burn and tear and you will bleed. Oh, man. So it's not like Goku where it, um, it, it you know, he can catch bullets it, and uh, his skin wouldn't bleed. But I got to say, I really like that we get, we have an explanation here um, of how, you know, a normal uh, and everyday human, or, or I should say this, how a mortal can catch um, a bullet. I'm going to read this again because I just think it's fascinating. If you possess the grip strain to overcome its momentum and rotational force, then a bullet can well uh, can then a bullet can easily well the skin will burn and tear and you will bleed. I love that the physics are being mentioned here. I just think it's really interesting. What do you guys think? But just one lick and it will all be better. Guns are quite the no-no. They give you the power to maim an, um, another um, without much training at all. Power easily obtained corrupts easily. Oh my god! That is so fucking true! What? True words were never spoken. Again, I gotta say that. I'm gonna say that again. I'm gonna read this again. Power easily obtained corrupts easily. Fuck yes! Look at dictatorships and all that. I'm telling you, this is one of the truest statements, or truest, not statements, truest quotes I have uh, I have read in manga recently. I, I gotta say that. M men, fire! Woo! Hold on, I'm gonna put that on my, on my Twitter. I'm gonna probably put that on there and pin it, because this is just goddamn awesome. I had to pin that, I had to, sorry, I just had to post that on my Twitter and pin it, because that quote is just amazing. Best fucking quote of the day. I'm probably, you know what? I'm probably going to do manga quotes of the day on my Twitter feed now. Um, a shield? This ain't a shield. I had this made specifically to suit my fighting style. A strange murder blade? What? Um, and the translation note uh, says here, this is the name given to a so to swords forged by, um, sorry, I'm turning my head sideways. It's just the translation note is sideways, so deal with it. Um, forged by uh, Shaku, um, Shikaku uh, Arai, the guy that forged uh, Kenshin's uh, sock Sakba toe. Whoa! He got it from him? Take a good look. As you can see, it cuts pretty well, don't it? And damn, I gotta say, this guy is fine. Run, they are monsters! Oh my god, who the fuck is that? Running before your enemy, weak, uh, weaklings? You are not fit to taste the steel of my blade. What is this, the Fantastic Four? A mockery of a gun should be more than enough. Whoa! What? What the hell are you lot? Our form is uh, that of a swordsman. Though uh, through an eternal inheritance, we have perfected our skills with a blade. Our substance is that of weapons. Through eternal, de uh, eternal devotion, we have surpassed gunfire. Oh my god, please don't be a stupid... Uh, please, please don't have a stupid name. We are uh, the swordsman's... Uh, the sword, wait, hold on a second. We are the swordman, uh, swordsman weapons. Okay, that is not as stupid as I thought it was going to be. It could have, like, I was thinking for a minute, damn, because especially that dude, that rocket looking dude, that, that could be thing, and man... A couple of the uh, of the guys in there, uh, in the group, look like they're straight out of Final Fantasy. <laughs> or I'm sorry, they look like they're straight out of um, Organization 13. They're straight out of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Uh, tell me I'm lying. They look like they're out of Organization 13. They they do. The robes really make it look like they're out of Organization 13. They fucking do. I'm starting to 
to think they are from Organization 13. Jesus Christ. We show no mercy. You will all die. And yes, they follow the way of the pajamas. Um, don't get too cocky, you knaves. An armed force of uncertain origins hides in uh, the untamed wilds of Hokkaido. I have investigated the uh, veracity of the statement um, of that statement for the past five years, but to find that it was just you lot all along. Uh, the small troop of infantry was a distraction. This is our true foe, a single policeman. Uh, lone swordsman uh, worth an army, your name? Police headquarters, special operations force. Cara Vegeta, yes, Vegeta! Oh my god, Vegeta is here! Oh my god, I can't wait to see Vegeta take all these mofos. I don't, I care not for your uh, dog-like nicknames. What is your true name, Wolf? No matter though you may hide it, I see it in your bearing who you really are. If you already know, then don't ask, idiot. Uh, former captain of uh, the um, Shinsugumi 3rd unit, Hajime Saito. Fuck, I totally screwed that up. I knew it was Saito. Okay, it is fucking early when I'm recording. I literally woke up like less than an hour ago. Sorry. Sorry. Fucking Saito! I feel really stupid right now. It's been a long ass time since I've binge read the hell out of this series. So forgive me. But Saito. Saito, I knew it. I knew better. Fuck. Fuck. I know, comment section, you could hate me. Go ahead. Ridicule me and dislike. I, don't, I know you're going to because of that shit. But fuck. Saito! Saito! Oh my god! Saito, kick his ass! Uh, I just realized uh, Goro F Vegeta is uh, the pol is uh, is the uh, police uh, headquarters special chief. That's what it was. Vegeta, friend or a friend or foe at the start of the trial that now faces us. I welcome thee, O oh strong swordsman. Welcome to the land of hope and despair. Welcome to Hokkaido! Oh my god, Hajime! Oh my god. Fuck, I just realized what he was doing. Vegeta was his uh, um, alias. Fuck. God, I'm slow th this morning. I stayed up, I'm like running on a little sleep. Forgive me. To uh, back in Tokyo. Hokkaido? Yep. Miss Kaoru's dad is alive up there or something, so we're gonna go find him. Hokkaido? Um, oh, he's learning, learning, I gotta read. Basically, the end of the earth probably isn't very sparkly at all. I hate the cold. Being cold, um, being hungry in the cold is the worst. Uh, will we be going as well? Of course, silly, you betcha. No, 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 no. Please. They sh I know they're gonna go. They shouldn't. <laughs> Understood. I will therefore arrange a sea passage to Hoka um, Hokodade and lodgings for the duration of your stay there. Um, I'll provide a letter of introduction from us at uh, Tsukiyama training as well. Uh, thank you so much. Now then, how many of you will be traveling? Let's see. Kenshin, Kenji, me, and me? I'm not going. Um, Aura? Why not? Why not? No! Who's going to take care of this dojo if both of its instructors uh, just up and, and leave? Oh, Yaiko! Yaiko's actually taking responsibility! I'm so proud of Yaiko! Ah, besides, we have um, at-home lessons and swordplay demonstrations we've already booked that need to be attended to. I realize we've seen a spike in enrollment lately, but the times are still, um, the times. People aren't trying to learn sword swordsmanship, plus the expenses for the trip aren't going to be anything to laugh at. This definitely isn't your average walk in the park. Yes, but... You're a housewife now, aren't you? At least try to keep the books balance, balanced. Oof. To be honest, though, we wouldn't have anything to worry about if Kenshin just went and got a real job. But, <laughs> Yaiko! Ooh! Oh, don't fret so much over 
for financial matters. Uh, we're basically supporting you all. I can even watch over dear little uh, Subumi while you're gone. Like I'd let ya. Um, but it's just going to be for a month. It uh, should be okay for you to take a break from the dojo, no? Come now. Yahiko's an assistant master of uh, the Kamiya Kashin Dojo now. He's got his own pride. Yeah, I guess. Whoa, the laundry! You know, yeah. The damage done to your body is fortunately still slight. Um, judicious use should allow you to continue to wield your blade for the time being. However, no matter how careful you choose to be um, uh, within the next four to five years, you will lose your ability, lose the ability to use the Hiten uh, Mitsurugi style. You all are going to Hokkaido to find your dad, not to fight. But still, yeah, I know. Oh. I will risk a uh, heart and blade to fulfill this life of battle. That is the answer I have chosen. If there are people suffering in Hokkaido, and if there are people uh, making them suffer, Kenshin will surely use his um, Hiten to fight. At first blush, it doesn't look like Kenshin's changed much, but just in these past six months, um, his stamina has uh, taken a hit again. I know. Oi, Kenshin. Oro? Kaoru, you see, she refuses to leave the dojo to me. Uh, says she can't trust me, won't budge. What? So before you leave uh, to Hokkaido, uh, test my skills again like you did half a year ago. An unyielding pride burns in those eyes. Oh my god. What did you what do you guys think of what did you guys think of this chapter? I really like that we got to see what's going on um at Hakudade. Let me make sure I fuck it up saying it right because I but I know I butchered it earlier. Yeah, I'm saying it right. I like that we got to see what's really going on at Hakudade. Um I like that we got to see Hajime take on those um the swordsman weapon. Um, I swear to God, the swordsman weapon, I, I'm telling you, they must be like fucking rebels from Organization 13. That is the only thing I could think of. Because I'm telling you, with those robes and the way they're drawn, they look straight out of Organization 13 from Kingdom Hearts. I, I just, meh. And um, I gotta say, I'm so damn proud of Yahiko. I am. Yahiko has definitely grown up. My boy Yahiko has fucking grown up. Um, and it's really sad. I'm really worried. Not. It's really sad, and I'm really worried about Kenshin. Um, because as it was mentioned, his and I understand why uh, Kaoru wants um. Uh. Yahiko to go, but you know who I think is going to go instead? Just give me a second here. I'll tell you who's going to go instead. In all honesty, I think Ashitaro is going to go with us. I just have a feeling Ashitaro is going to go with us because we're, um, let me just double check and make sure I'm right that Ken, uh, Kenshin said this at the last chapter. I just want to double check. Because something Kenshin said in the last chapter after Ashitaro became possessed by the sword, by Shishio's sword, um, or in, in, after you beat him down, was, Ashitaro, you are volatile, um, uh, prone to giving yourself over to fits of, um, fits of passion and rage. Um, and Ashitaro is still uh, lacking, and if unsavory tendencies come to roost in those empty places, he might just become a befitting successor to this evil sword, sword's far more e uh, evil former owner. Do not uh, draw that blade. If you do, you will have me to answer to. And I feel like... I... I feel like Ashitaro's gonna go with us. I just have this feeling in my gut he will. I'm very curious what you think. Because I feel like Kenshin's gonna wanna keep an eye on Ashitaro because of Shishiao's blade. 
and because remember, um, Kenshin's the only one that can stop Ashitaro when he uh, becomes possessed by Shishio's blade. And plus, I feel like I feel like Kenshin is the only one that can teach Ashitaro to control that blade. I don't think Yahiko can do it. I think only Kenshin can. So I'm very curious what you nerdigans think. Do you guys think that Ashitaro is going to go with us? Or, because otherwise, why would they have, why would chapter one show so much, have so much emphasis on Ashitaro if he wouldn't, play if he wasn't going to play a big part in the story I'm, I'm just saying I don't think like I'm wondering if I don't think Alan's gonna go with us Alan is gonna stay with uh, uh Yahiko no way Alan's going but I think in all honesty I think Ashitaro's for sure gonna go with us I just this is just my gut feeling just based on what um what happened in chapter one um and the fact that he has uh, Shishio's blade, and I, 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 and as I said, I feel like only Kenshin would be the one to um, train. He's the only one that I can see uh, train training um, uh, Ashitaro to control that blade and to control the and to um, mentally and spiritually train him. Um, but I could be wrong, but I want to know what you guys think. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nardigan's Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to, uh, contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, follow my Twitch channel, friend me on PlayStation Network, all that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nardigans, I'll be seeing you later.